all human trafficked are clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup, it's a stitch up. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you with money laundering. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. So Andrew Tate has been detained yet again by Romanian authorities and faces a bunch of new allegations. These new allegations are based around alleged sexual relations with a minor and money laundering. They were then banned from leaving the country, only a short time after being given permission by a judge to travel freely in Europe. In this video, I'm going to use my skills as a body language analyst to try and provide some insight into the situation. So let's take a look. No, not open. Uh, no, 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 no. Any How you gonna put me in jail except for give me a trial? Yeah. No trial, no judge, just jail, jail, jail. Are you afraid of me? 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 Tate, along with his brother, were then taken to court where the judge granted their release, but they're not permitted to leave the country anymore. I moved to Romania 10 years ago, and I found an amazing country full of beautiful people, and I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human trafficked. I've been nice. I've been patient, I've played the game, I've respected the judiciary, I've gone to every appointment on time, but they bust in my house again, and now I've come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense? 30 saying we've done absolutely nothing wrong? Tate's brow tenses up here, far above his baseline during the speech. This occurs specifically when he says they busted his house yet again, and from the footage released, we can clearly see that they used a battery tool to break down the door. Ekman and Fries in 1969 released a study titled Nonverbal Leakage and Clues to Deception, which reported that muscle tension is a symptom of anxiety and extreme discomfort. The muscle tenses up to become stronger and more resistant to damage during a physical confrontation. Rigo in 1986 also released a study titled Assessment of Basic Social Skills, which found that muscle tension is crucial for effective social interactions, as it promotes interpersonal communication, which is essential for human survival. Two, uh, two more of the mothers of our children and two more have never even been to Romania. I've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup. It's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Okay. And also, one more thing. The media is complicit. All of you are. When they first threw us in fucking jail, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same fucking bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup, it's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at DCOP in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. This is a fucking setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. quiet. I'm not talking to you, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Tate does something quite interesting here. When the guy interrupts him, Tate starts off expressing muscle tension, but when he's addressing the guy, who is clearly annoying him, this tension drops away. Tate doesn't want to appear intimidating, so he stops tensing his brow and calmly tells the guy to stop interrupting. This shows a great degree of self-control. Muscle tension is a tool for communication and conveys aggression, but he stops doing it when turning to the guy who's annoying him. He's able to separate the situation and judge the guy as an individual, which I find quite interesting. Interesting. This, this is a setup, it is done on purpose, and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, 
fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people. And three idiots, a decal, have fucked everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you with fucking money laundering. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Tate is not acting here. He's being genuine. Yes, he's giving a prepared speech, but the delivery is incredibly real. When Tate states what they're doing is disgusting, his entire body, in body language terms, is what's called synchronized. This means that three or more different bits of nonverbal communication group together to convey the same emotion, meaning that it's highly likely that it's genuine. It's no coincidence that these new charges were suddenly discovered less than a month after they were granted free movement around Europe. Clearly someone wishes to keep them in Romania, and discovering some new charges is an easy way to do just that. Bear in mind, Ted Bundy was arrested and convicted within six months. So far, the Tate brothers have been subject to this for nearly two years, which says a lot about the charges against him and the legal proceedings in Romania. What do you think of this video? Let me know in the comment section below, and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.